you may be a murderer you may be anything you'll be caught you'll be sent to jail you'll be convicted you have a right to go and break the house where the family is stay it's not part of your of your sentence i hereby sentence you to jail for the rest of your life and i hereby sentence you to your house broken what kind of what kind of dada giri it's political dada giri nothing short of well the illegality in respect of the present phase of demolitions in uh, up in delhi in madhya pradesh and elsewhere these demolitions are illegal at multiple levels first is some illegality in the structure sanctioning and so on is never a ground for demolition because in every city of india something like 40% of all structures if not more will have some level of lack of authorization you don't go around breaking hundreds of crores of houses because they have no sanction for this floor no sanction for that floor etc it's never done for illegal constructions demolitions will happen and this the supreme court has said when the land is needed for a public purpose a hospital a school a railway station and so on that is the reason why demolitions will happen to clear the land for a public purpose third when you want to clear the land for a public purpose by demolition of the structure notice has to be given you can't just come one fine day with your bulldozers and break the house and i'll come to javed's case shortly on the notice given to javed notice must be given and fourth before the houses are broken rehabilitation of those being relocated must be done even in the case of unauthorized residents now if you come to javed's case it's an outrageous case where the government of up is lying to the people of the country so now see the see the lies in javed's case structure unauthorized we gave him notice too big on television you'll see two big lies again and again and you know these ministers who come on tv or their spokesperson they rehearse these two lies which are the two lies we must tell today one lie second javed's house was not javed's house the house they broke was javed's wife's house that everybody has come to what people may not know is it was gifted to her by a gift from her father many years ago so an old structure running openly for a long long time and nobody questioned the genuineness of that structure or the legality of that structure right and you've heard on you've heard on television people unauthorized structure it's if it is unauthorized at all there's no evidence it's been there for maybe 10 20 years the second lie is that they gave him notice so on the day when the bulldozers came, when they came in june they came with a notice which said we gave you notice in may but you didn't respond so here we are get out of your house but that may notice was never served on job trick it's a backdating trick so you backdate the notice it was never received by javed otherwise he would sign received 
and he would take action immediately he would go to court and so on so that is the way high handed manner unlawful manner unconstitutional manner in which they broke charges then you hear the story that they are criminals so we broke their house i mean that is an outrageous statement you may be a murderer you may be anything you'll be caught you'll be sent to jail you'll be convicted you have a right to go and break the house where the family is stay it's not part of your of your sentence i hereby sentence you to jail for the rest of your life and i hereby sentence you to have your house broken what kind of what kind of dada giri it's political dada giri nothing short of that. no law authorizes you to have a double punishment you to jail and I'll punish you by breaking your house no law and this law they are mentioning about compensation and so on it requires the tribunal to be set up with a retired high court judge it requires as a precondition before proceeding under that law for for compensation you get compensation of the person who broke something right before the state files that proceeding they must have video testimony of this person smashing public property what does the supreme court say you must have video testimony to show that this person has broken public they don't have it at all they send ca and nrc notices to thousands and thousands of people they don't have video testimony at all the constitution is ruled by the constitution the supremacy is not the supremacy of numbers it's not majority rule principle it's not the party with the largest votes it is constitutional supremacy not parliament supremacy which i think very few people in india understand and the persons who don't want the constitution you must understand it's not that they are just fringe elements of fanatics they realize that the constitution puts limitations on misrule by the majority that they don't want. they don't want any court telling them equality right to life right to travel freedom of speech they don't want all this what they call western baggage freedom of speech western baggage no freedom of speech for those who oppose the government so how serious it is is it it's a direction in the movement of fascism 